subject matter expert of this video is Dr. Iram Khan from Jamia Millia Islamia, New Delhi. And the academic expert or the reviewer of this video is Professor Jasim Ahmed from Jamia Millia Islamia, New Delhi. Hello, my dear students. I am Dr. Iram Khan, Assistant Professor at Institute of Advanced Studies in Education, Department of Teachers Training and Non-Formal Education, Faculty of Education, Jamia Millia Islamia, New Delhi. Today, we will be talking about a topic which is related to the concept, the principles and the stages of development. Let us start the session first with the objectives. So after making the discussion about the process of growth and development uh, individually, now we have got some idea that what exactly we mean by growth and what is the meaning of development. Let us try to see that what is the difference between these two things. What are those aspects which make these two terms different from one another? So if you talk about growth, the term growth is used in purely physical sense. It generally refers to an increase in size, length, height, weight, and all those type of physical changes which we can actually see. So it is basically the quantitative aspect, the changes which happen in quantitative terms, which actually come under the domain of growth. Then on the contrary to the domain of growth, where uh, we are talking about the quantitative aspects, in case of development, the development implies the overall change in shape, form or structure resulting in the improved working or the functionality. It basically indicates the changes in the quality or the character rather than talking only about the quantitative aspect. Then in case of growth, growth is one of the parts of the developmental process. In strict sense, development in its quantitative aspect is termed as growth. When we talk about development here in this aspect, development is a wider and comprehensive term. It refers to the overall changes in an individual. Whereas when we talk about growth, growth is one of its part. Growth may be referred to, uh, to be uh, described as the changes which take place in the particular aspects of the body and behavior of an organism. Whereas development describes the changes in the organism as a whole and it does not list the changes in parts. Growth does not continue throughout the life. At some point of time, once the person attains maturity, the growth stops. Whereas development is a continuous process. It goes from, there is a phrase that development goes from womb to tomb. It does not end with the attainment of maturity. The changes uh, will happen throughout the life. However, the changes can be small. They may be um, very negligible, but they continue throughout the lifespan of an individual. The changes produced by growth are the subject of measurement. They can be measured. They may be quantified and they can be observed in nature. But in case of development, as we all know that it's a quantitative, qualitative aspect, development is a qualitative aspect, uh, it implies the improvement in the functioning and the behavior. And this is the reason why uh, the qualitative changes are brought about through the process of development. And these are difficult to be measured directly. They are assessed through keen observation in the behavioral situations then growth may or may not bring development. A child may grow in terms of weight. The child uh, may grow fat, but this growth may not bring any functional improvement. And in case of development, uh, development is also possible without growth. And if we uh, see some of the cases uh, where we find that the height of the child is not uh, uh, increasing. Uh, in terms of height, the, the child is not growing, but uh, even the weight of the child is not uh, increasing uh, very much. But then also the experiences uh, are attained by the child and uh, somehow the functionalities are also attained. So all the, uh, the 
uh, functions of the different organs different parts of the body are full fledged properly working but the height is not increasing so some sort of growth is not happening in terms of the height but development because the functionality is increasing everything is uh, working properly so we can say that here the development is happening but growth is not happening so these are few of those uh, differences which we can find and we can actually use while differentiating growth and development and these are few of those references and the suggested further readings which can be considered once you are uh, are trying to study more about the topic so see you all another day another time in another session thank you for this time thank you so much